right? We're not doing this. Cause that's all my back. And my lats don't feel it as much. Basically I'm doing like at this point now, I'm basically doing like a vertical row. And if our goal is to build our width, then we need to be as upright as we can. I keep our shoulders from retracting. Pull downs is, this is our aggression to a pull up, right? Pull up, how many people here can do a pull up? All right, how many people can do 10 pull ups? Okay, show me a pull up, someone pull a pull up for me. All right, we're gonna do a pull up. Relax there, keep going. So, see all this here, cool. Like, it can hold, so there are Terry's, Terry's Major, mine are here. This is what's doing the big pull here, relax. All right, so cool thing here is like if I was gonna, if I was coaching Will and he was, if you wanted to be a bodybuilder, we got a lot of room in here we need to build up. So if you're looking at, um, you know what, we're, can you take your shirt off if you don't mind? Just take your shirt off, please. Thank you very much. Swing it on your head for a little bit like that. Oh, I'm joking. All right, so if you're looking at, <laughs> all right, when the, when the guys leave is what it comes in. <laughs> so if we're looking at development, if we're looking at like, you know, what we're trying to build, if we're looking at, again, stack of hypertrophy, we're trying to change our physique. We have good development here, crazy amount of um, activation here, mid trap to upper trap, almost like non-existent, right? It's not non-existent, but like it's obviously something he doesn't target. Now in terms of like what we want to build, if we're looking at building this part, so if me, me as a coach, I'm like, okay, if you want a bodybuilder, you want to make your, big, your back bigger or more balanced, Rose is going to do this part of your body and your lats too but more so if I wanna really get this to build, I'll need to row. So do a rowing motion. So right, what pulls this, and you can see how much, how little this part is, and I can see, I see bone, but I can feel a little more bone here because this it obviously is not doing, you don't do many rows, do you? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, right? And he's on a bike too, so a lot of his thing is, is this. <laughs> so he's really strong in here. So when we're doing pulls, vertical pulls, so do just raise your hands or just touch the bar. Vertical pulls is this like little smiley faces see here. So it pans right back. There you go. Good. So right here, this is what's pulling this thing down. Your lats attach right to your arm in here and then to a couple ribs, whatever, and then to your hip. So basically like it's basically like 90% of your entire back is like lats, right? This part of your teres, teres major minor, this pulls this arm down like this, or it does this. So if I want to get this wider, I need to do things where he's pulling himself from this position. If I want to get this thing bigger, I need him to do rows or do a hinge or bent over row. That's where we're trying to get bigger from there. That's how we're building this, right? So do a pull up. So from here, I'm greeting the chest to the bar, not trying to get my chin over. Because what we get when we get chin over, we try to get the whole rolling itself forward here. So I will, my cue is always bringing their chest to the bar. There you go, that's it. Now we don't have to go that high, but it's really good either way, relax. The regression to this is this, because it's the exact same movement. Only thing is, is you're getting help. You're getting help from here to pull ourselves down. It's the exact same motion as is doing that there. So if you can't get there, or if your goal is to get there, it's to regress to here to get strong as you can here, then to move there. Again, like the other aggression that would be definitely like using resistance bands or um, assisted pull up. But just for the sake of just like really being able to focus just on our lats moving, let's get in this right here. We're going to do, we're gonna work ourselves up and this is what we're really gonna focus on and really sh like showing you guys what a hard set feels like. Same thing like over here, but here's gonna be a little easier because we can just pin some weight and I'm gonna make you guys hurt. So whatever you guys think you did before, start off with that as a warm up. We're gonna do 10 to 15 reps, right? We're sticking that 30 to 45 seconds. And I want you guys to pick a weight that you would kind of like on your progression to your hard set. So your first set's not gonna be a hard set. I want your first set to be a coachable. So I'm gonna coach you guys all up. Okay, get in. Now I want flat back, straight backs. I don't want lean back. There you go. And we're gonna start and go. Control the rep down. Control down, control it up, good. Pull. I want you to control it up. Pull down fast. Wrap your hand around the entire bar. There you go. Grip is strong. Pull. Good. I want you to think about pulling those elbows to the side of your body. Good. Straight back. Good. 
Control it down, good. Literally like, what does hand positioning do when you do pulls? We necessarily don't need this part of our arm to do this movement, really, we don't. We just need some kind of a load to just do this, shoulder flexion. When, we're, when we supinate or pronate or whatever, it's just gonna give us in some terms, one part of it is, it's gonna give us like, what kind of bicep help am I gonna get from being either pronated, neutral, supinated. Kind of related back to doing bicep, uh, bicep curls. What's the easiest way to bicep curl? Probably hammer or supinated. You're gonna get a lot more, you know, bicep involved, but if I'm doing hammer, I'm gonna get the brachialis, brachialis, and the brachialis. So we're getting a lot. So when I'm pulling, this is probably my strongest way to pull, right? Same with dumbbells. I'm probably pulling a lot more this way than I'm gonna this way, right? If I supinate, right? If I'm doing supination and pulling, this one's gonna involve a little bit more back because for me to do this supination and in this position and up here, it involves external rotation. And my teres minor helps with external rotation. So my teres minor is that part of the back, again, where I show in will. So if I'm in this position here, I'm exposing a lot more of that, of that teres muscle here. It's being involved a lot more. There's a lot more of a load press on it, but that's what we're gonna get. Now, if we're doing like pronated, you're using the least amount of bicep in a sense. You think about it, right? Think of doing like a reverse curl. It's hard. You can't do like, you know, reverse curling is a lot harder than it is this and this way, right? But regardless of what, it's still pulling this like this, right? Just didn't have what kind of bicep help I'm gonna get. Now, when we're doing this to make it easier, not easier, but it's more optimal, when I'm pulling with this, I don't wanna just be kind of pulling here because a lot of times we just get this part of our hand pulling. I wanna almost feel this part. I'm trying to bend this thing in half, like this way. But I'm not trying to do it where now my elbows are like this. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to do this so my lats pull in, so when I'm pulling in, it moves straight down. Right, just a little bit like this. It's the exact same thing as if this, as if I was pressing. Right, it's the same thing. And the same thing as the overhead press. So we did an overhead press. Here's your pull down. Here's your overhead press. Pull down, overhead press. Or the trade too when you're doing this, this is, this is not here just to keep you in place. It's to give you a little bit of leverage and help. So if you wanna give yourself a little more help, push your toes in the ground when you're pulling. It will make this tighter and it'll give you a lot more leverage. Let's do it again. Get a good weight and go. Good, I don't want you to lean back. Put yourself out of that bench a little bit. Sit back a little more on the bench. Control that rep. Tight core, pull. Two and one, good. When I'm doing a pull, if you guys watch, right, I am again. Don't go crazy now, guys. When I'm in this position, I'm engaging my core so I can stay this way. Right, pull me up, thanks, bro. Right? So I don't, my core being engaged is keeping me from doing this, right? I don't wanna do this. See what, my, see what happens with my stomach? When I do this, it loosens up, right? I'm hyperextending my back. My core is gonna flex my back. It's gonna keep it up straight. So when I do move, it looks more so like I'm doing more of this, not this, right? There's a big difference between doing this and this. I'm a hinging, exactly. Keep things consistent. So when I'm here, just like an overhead press, I'm from here. Right, we're not doing this. Cause that's all my back. And my lats don't feel it as much. Basically I'm doing like at this point now, I'm basically doing like a vertical row. And if our goal is to build our width then we need to be as upright as we can. I keep our shoulders from retracting. When I'm here, I'm not retracting. This is retracting. Or here, I'm not. So do another set. Each one, whoever has not done a set yet, finish off, load that up. Right here, that's where I want to feel it. Good. I don't want to feel this moving too much at all. Good, watch those traps. Keep the traps down, pull them. There you go. 